So this is just how you um, deal with getting an invitation to uh, an event or a training session. Um, same thing. Um, you'll get an email in some way, shape or form that will look something like this. You click on the accept button and it will take you, that, that's it, you've now actually accepted, but it will, if you're online, it will take you through to um, the event page. Um, so there we go. Um, you have already accepted. Um, if you click on there, you can see this is just a made up event that I've done just for this purpose. So, okay, that's it. You've done, you're accepted. Um, now, if at a later date um, something crops up and you have to, um, you can't attend the event, um, all you need to do is go into the team web page. You can either look on the front page um, here and go down the team calendar and find the event, it's there. So I can click on that and that will take me through to the event page or I can click up here on events. And there it is. So I would click up on here. That will take me into the event. Go down to here, that's the lineup. I'm the only person in it. There's a little box here on the right that says Tony Set. And if you just click on that drop down arrow, um, you can change your status to decline, okay? This box will come up and you can put a little reason in if you want, sore elbow or whatever. Click on the confirm and it will change it. Um, now, use this um, facility sparingly because what does happen is once um, the... Uh, once you change your status, it emails out to everybody um, who's a team organizer at the club. So do use this sparingly. I've just realized that I've now just done it twice to make this video, so there will be a whole load of emails flying out to all the organizers, unfortunately. Um, so that's how you change it. As I say, do it sparingly so we don't get bombarded with emails. And that is it.